You have everything by yourself. No need for men. There's an era we thought was over. In an East African country like Kenya, a couple of years earlier, women were as a tool to men and doesn't have any role. You don't like men? I don't like. Around the world, there is a tradition of repressing women, treating women and girls as second-class citizens. Those are bad traditions. There's no place in civilized society for the early or forced marriage of children. You are not Hi, I'm Lucy. This is the village where men are not allowed. They marry them at the age of 12, and there's FGM. Until young girls came, they stood together against them and built a special place for themselves, not allowed to men, no matter what. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited for the trip. Five hours, so... Five hours. Tuned. Five hours. <laughs> Only women. Only women. Not a lot for me. No, <laughs> I don't know how you guys are going to enter this. <laughs> yeah. In this village, men are not allowed to enter. All men. They made a movement. Women gathered together and made a small village and prohibited men from entering it because a lot of them were sexually harassed here in Kenya. And some men here consider women as dolls. They got famous. They called it Woman Only Village. They became really famous. They made a documentary about it. To enter it, you need a permit because they're all women, there are no men. They agree, uh, they give us permission for tomorrow, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Only if you're a woman, you can sleep here, but if you're a man... Farhana, you have the, you have the right. Take a, a private camera. Yeah, go, go, film stay with it, night, film it. it. <laughs> Maybe they're talking there. about us, very bad things. <laughs> Goodbye. Master. This is easy. I feel excited, I feel proud that I'm among such strong and phenomenal women who have made an entire village just for them. I mean, a lot of African countries have like FGM. Did you know here, they marry them at the age of 12? 12 years old, who brought some supplies. Welcome to Moza Women. It started in 1990 with only seven women who have been raped by the British Army at the bush. That's why the women decide to start together. They decided that they will start the village. Mm. And the group increased from seven women to 48 women now. How old are you? I'm 20. You don't like men? I don't like. Have you had any bad experience before? No. The men are not good people. In Kenya or everywhere in the world? In Kenya, I don't know. So if they want to get married, they have to go outside of the, yeah. of the village? Yeah. Are you married? You don't want, right? Give me time. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> For her! 
Yeah, for the men, if they will try to come and disturb you, we just call the police. You call the police. You yeah. have the right uh, to yeah. protect yourself. But because the police, the police here, they don't assist. So the best thing we do, we just cut some sticks. Mm. We and beat you, him. You fight. We beat him. <laughs> After there, we call the judge. So you fight for your right. Amazing. You have everything by yourself. No need for men. The children, the women, it doesn't mean that they have not yet married. Mm -hmm. They have already married, but they divorce with them. So ah, that's why the so, children are here. So the rules of this village. If you want to join this community, community high, you have to get divorced and come here. So anyone can join? Any girls? Yeah. From all Most, around the world? Mostly, we, we support girls who escape from early marriages. Yeah, so any girls or had a problem with the early marriage yeah. from her parents, she comes here yeah. and you protect her. Any girl who had an early marriage, what they do is they tell her to come here, they welcome her and they protect her against her family and husband. <laughs> you want to move out? No. Really? What's she saying? She said that she's been in this village for 10 years mm. and she came here when she had two, ch ch two children. Mm. She said she left her husband because her husband was beating her up mm. and so she decided one day she just left and she came here. Hiniako? So many. We have some gifts. A school in the village, they teach them to grow respect in women. Who wants to? We have one more for So they are afraid of us. So Umoja means unity in Swahili. Ah, oh, it means unity. Yeah, Umoja means unity. So one hand. Yeah, they're together. So don't you think that's like so powerful? The word itself, like yeah, Umoja. Yeah. yeah. You wake up, you have sisters around you, support system continuously. At the end of the day, we still need men. I'm going to admit it. You I'm, need us, yeah. I'm married, so <laughs> I can't say anything. A lot of these things were happening, sexual harassment, raping, uh, FGM. This village was built in the 90s. Now, until 2005 and 2010, they said in 2010 these things decreased. The harassment, the rape, all these things that happened before. Early marriage, people are educated, there's internet, the world knows everything. Until 2005 this stopped, but the village continued, until now. Until now doing the same thing. Are you okay? You bring the money, you take care of the kids, you do everything. Yeah. That's why the, the village is so clean, because if uh, it's man village, <laughs> it will be messed up. <laughs> they live their lives, they're happy without men. <laughs> okay guys, this is the end, the village forbidden to men. To get married, they have to leave. If one gets married, she leaves and never comes back. Women here bring their children and come here under protection and doesn't leave. Her husband can't enter here. Tell us what you think in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Hit like. Goodbye. Bye. Like. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.